the Tetsuo character, he has a, a few bit of lights on him. So he has this rim light, this blue rim light. Uh, he has this other, if I turn it off and on, you can see it's just like a fill just to kind of bring in this. There was a lot of moments where I just, I love this, you know, this like really dark silhouette, a little bit of warm, and then this like really sharp silhouette. I love this. I was battling between keeping it just like this because I really love the really hard contrast between the, like the cold rim light and the warm fill light. I think this light helps put our focus on him because if we look at kind of the amount of light, the foreground person has a rim light and then a fill orange light. This guy has a bit of a rim light and then a somewhat of a fill orange light. So he has two lights. And then this guy really only has one light, has like just a blue light in front of him. So in terms of like hierarchy of amount of lights, it also makes sense for the main character to have more lights or at least one more light than like the guy before him. So that's another thing I just kind of think about and like justify like some of the art direction. So yeah, this guy has a bigger color range, a light range on him and then less and then even less all the way to the back. One other thing I really loved was there is a negative light here somewhere. This one is negative 1000 and that is what is doing this really harsh, weird, like uh, it's just kind of like eating away at the light there. And I like the, um, I like that, that it does that because it helps separate this foot. If I turn it off, you can see that from a distance, like this distance, gets a little muddy here, like where the edges of things are because the value of his like foot and the clothing kind of matches the background a little bit. It doesn't really stand out enough. So adding that negative light, not only does it add this really harsh, dark area, but it also forces an edge on this foot here, which stands out against the background. It, and, and again, this is one of those things that's like purely stylistic. So no matter where you put it, it can kind of make, like this looks cool, right? Like fully silhouette. We have the red, we have the blue, like beautiful, but it's too dark. So how do we position it in a way where we kind of get what we want? We kind of get the graphic.